Good morning, happy Monday, everyone. I'm gonna explain a little bit about our lesson plans and then go over our digital robot for anyone that wants to tackle the digital side of the art world. I made a little template, so hopefully that'll make it a little easier. Uh, if you don't have the lesson plans for this week, remember you can go to my staff page on the Parkview Elementary School website, uh, dillonschools.org. There they are. It's a similar setup to last week. Uh, it's broken down into materials that you might just have at home just in case you don't have anything. Uh, or if you just want to build something with the stuff you have this week. Uh, I had a ton of fun doing this. It's all about robots this week. I used kitchen supplies for my robot. Uh, you can see those down there, which was super fun. But if you do want to draw color, uh, go beyond that. It gives you some ideas of what you can do. And then later today, I'll post a video making a folding surprise robot. Folding surprise projects are always fun. We've done monsters and cats. And if you've ever gone to Art for Kids Hub on YouTube, we have a ton of folding surprise projects, and they're always super cool. So uh, I will show you a video on how to make a robot as a folding surprise if you want to do that. Totally your choice. Remember, you only have to do one. Uh, it tells you what you can do to kind of turn it in to me. Uh, email it, post it on Facebook, send me a video through Facebook. Uh, so options that way. I know some people have turned it into their classroom teacher. They've been telling me who's turned those things in as well, which is awesome. So that works. Uh, to find videos, I have them posted on YouTube. Uh, if you search Kelsey Lewis, you can see all of those. Uh, also, if you go into my staff page and go to links, uh, they're right there. I apparently got a little crazy with painting with markers and put it on four times. So there's that. Uh, so we'll have a video lesson again on a folding spice robot. I'll put it up on this page as well on my YouTube page. Also on Mrs. Lewis's Art Room Facebook page, just so you have options to find that. For our digital work, I love this stuff. It's mainly for my third and fourth graders fifth graders if they want to try it, but I'll send it to everyone just in case you have some really tech savvy students. Uh, we do digital art on fun Fridays with my third and fourth graders, but I only see them, you know, once every eight weeks on the way that it rotates. So I'm sure it's a little overwhelming and hard to find. What I'll do is send it to your Gmail account. So if you click into your mail, I know a lot of us have done things uh, through that, you'll get an email that says robot template. When you open that in your docs, I've set it up so that it's just me that can view or just you that can view it. Only I can edit it. So you will have to make a copy. If you go into file, it's the fourth one down. It says make a copy. It says copy of robot template in there. I'd like you to put your name. And then your class. Say I'm in... This is Millimackie's class, I'd put a five and an M to make sure you put your class in there. If you click okay, it's gonna bring up your own document that you get to edit. Now, if you wanna leave this word, these words up there, that's fine. If you wanna delete them out of there, that's cool too. This is only to help you if you wanna make your own robot out of shapes in Google Docs, please feel free. I'm just trying to make it as easy as possible because like I said, we only do this every Friday. Oh, well, every eight Fridays, so it's easy to forget. If you double click into our robot, you've got a body, legs, arms, head. You can click on each shape. Right up here, we've got our fill color. You can change it into a purple headed robot with a yellow body. If I click on that shape, it's got the plus sign. You can see the blue boxes around. That is how you know you have that shape. I could also move it using that dot to make it look like it's waving to everyone. Click on it and let's give it some red arms. It's gonna be super colorful. So you can click into those shapes, you can change the colors. You can also add your own shapes to add a face, feet, details, designs. So we'll go over those options. Right here with the circle and the square, it says shape. When I click on it, it gives me some different 
options of shapes that I can add in. I'm going to add just normal eyes. I'll add one circle there. Gives me the options to change the color. Let's give them black eyes. Then if I want the same exact circle, the same size, I can click on it. Make sure you get those blue boxes around there. Push Control C, which copies it. That's C T R L. Then Control V, and there is my second eyeball. Pretty simple. It might take some extra time, especially to remember all the controls. Uh, we can go back into our shapes. We can go back into, let's go rectangle and give him a rectangular mouth with super white teeth. Here's my border color that goes around my rectangle that I have for his mouth right now because that's the shape I have selected. It's black. I will leave that. If I go to my border weight, I can make it larger. So he's got a thicker outline around his mouth. Makes it look like he can, you know, eat a whole pizza at once, which is awesome. If I want to add some words in there, maybe I want to have my robot have a name, robot Joe. I just clicked on the shape and started typing. Where it says Arial, I can change the font of my letters as long as I click on the outside of my shape so that the blinking line's gone. Blinking line, I tried to change it, it doesn't work. Click on the outside of the shape, blinking line's gone. Let's make it very good. Cursive, just like that. Then I can click on the three dots. That always means there is more options <coughs> in Google. I can make it much larger. Woo, too big. I can put it to the center of my robot so it's like a t-shirt name. I can go to the A and change the color. So that's all set up just how I want my robot to be. I'd love for you to change at least five things on there. Do more if you want, be as creative as possible. Anything or any time that you feel like you make a mistake, you can always click back. Erase what you have, push Control Z to go back one step. If I don't like that arm, I can push Delete after I click onto it. And I can add my own arm because I would really like him to have one arm that's an arrow because that is the robot's job. It points you in the right direction. So those are some simple steps. Hopefully you can follow through uh, with some of the things that we've learned over the year when we were in school. Uh, if you want to create your own digital robot, it's a different way to uh, explore the art world. Push save and close when you are done. There he is. Click share. And then send it to me. K. Lewis at Dylan schools.org send and when you do that that sends right to me that'll be your turned in assignment for the week if you have questions please email me I know that's a lot that I covered in a little bit of time but hopefully we remember all the things that we did during school uh, so if you want to do the digital option that's easy for you you kind of remember all the steps and you can create a really amazing robot I cannot wait to see what you create. I appreciate everyone that's turned in things. Uh, if this is not the one that you want to do, there are some other robot options. And so just pick what makes you happy and what's going to give you a little break from everything else that's going on. All right. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.